Hello everyone. I hope you're doing well. In this video, we'll see how to draw uh, how to draw the directions uh, from given Miller indices. If Miller indices are given to you, then how you can uh, draw the directions from that uh, given uh, indices. So in this video, the main focus will be on the indices which uh, have uh, negative numbers in them. For example, in which one of the index is negative, as we can see, these are the three uh, examples that we'll be doing. In which the x index is negative, y index is negative, or z index is negative. When two of the indices are negative, we'll uh, see that one case also and when all the indices are negative then how we'll uh, draw the direction uh, the method uh, will be displayed in this uh, video and but before diving into the negative Miller indices cases we will do uh, the case when all of the indices are positive so that the video is a complete one and uh, you'll get the complete method so let's start with the method and firstly we'll draw the direction with all positive Miller indices all right and here first of all we'll draw the cube because we know that these Miller indices are for the cubic lattice and that's a cube all right now for all positive Miller indices uh, when all of the Miller indices are positive when I'll say all positive case then it will refer to the case when all of the Miller indices are positive the x corresponding Miller ind index the y corresponding and the z corresponding if all of these three Miller indices are positive then I'll call it as all positive case for all positive case the origin the um, to be selected uh, will be this one point okay this one point will be the origin for all positive case when all of the indices are positive so uh, this one is the x-axis that one is y-axis and this one line is the z-axis okay so this is the coordinate system first of all we have to define the coordinate system that we'll be using uh, to draw the direction okay so you have to identify the origin the correct origin for drawing the direction so for all positive uh, Miller indices this point is the origin and uh, next on the tail of the direction they uh, the direction has two points one is the tail and the other is the head point okay so the tail of the uh, direction is always at origin uh, the origin will be uh, on the basis of the coordinate system the final coordinate system that we'll use okay so it it's not necessary that it's always this point it could be changed if the negative Miller indices case comes in okay so the tail of the direction will always be at origin now the head coordinates needs to be determined and the head coordinates are determined from the Miller indices that are given to you okay so the head coordinates of the direction to find head coordinates of the direction will divide we will divide uh, the LCM of non-zero Miller indices with all of the indices okay so we have the three indis uh, indices as one zero and two we'll take the LCM of non-zero Miller indices LCM of zero uh, zero is not included in the LCM process okay so LCM uh, will be taken uh, uh, for uh, one and two and the LCM comes out to be two Okay, we'll divide the two with all of the Miller indices and after dividing uh, we'll get the coordinates for the head uh, of the direction okay so 1 by 2 is the x coordinate of the direction um, of head and this is y coordinate and this is the z coordinate all right so whenever you are given the direction um, the tail will be at origin the, uh, the origin the correct origin uh, the suitable origin for uh, drawing that direction so that the direction lies within a single unit cell okay and that origin could be changed depending upon uh, the polarity of the indices okay if they are negative the origin could be shifted and that shifted origin will be the tail of the vector okay the tail of the direction so the tail will be at origin and the head coordinates are obtained from the given Miller indices for which you have to divide uh, each of the Miller index with the LCM of the non-zero positive Miller indices okay uh, whenever you take the LCM the negative value is not taken uh, but you will take its numerical value only like 3 1 and 3 uh, 3 minus 1 and 3 will not be taken in the LCM process okay negative number cannot be divided with the Miller indices you always divide a positive number okay so uh, you will not take the negative part you only take the numerical value of that index 
so here we have found the uh, million uh, we have found the head coordinates which are 1 by 2 0 and 1 uh, for the head of the direction and let's uh, find out that head point and uh, for this you have to move half unit along x direction so from origin we'll move half unit along x direction this is the whole one length one length means uh, from one corner to another corner of the unit cell okay so this is if this is one then half of it is like this point okay so we have to move a half unit along x direction which means here like that here okay after that zero units along y direction so no motion along y direction is required one unit along z direction so one unit means from this point onwards uh, to the other corner of the unit cell along z direction which means this one line so we will I draw a vertical line parallel to z uh, axis like that exactly parallel to the z axis okay and from half unit along x direction one unit along z direction means to the other corner which is this point so this is the final head point because no uh, motion along y direction is required as y coordinate is zero so this is the head point of the uh, uh, direction so we'll join the tail with the head coordinates and uh, uh, with a straight line and yeah that's the final direction and uh, you can write as one zero two uh, closer to each to show that this is the direction uh, for that with that miller indices okay and yeah this is done okay for all positive miller indices this is always the origin okay and uh, using this method you have to find out the you'll have to find out the head coordinates and uh, you will uh, find the head point and you'll join the tail with the head uh, by a straight line vector and that will be the direction uh, required direction okay so in case of negative miller indices only the origins position changes rest of all the method method is same okay only the origins position is changed hence the tail uh, uh, of the vector is shifted uh, other than that all of the method is similar okay so let's start with the one in which the x index is negative okay i am drawing uh, two bar one two uh, first so here the here is the first example uh, for negative index cases and first of all we draw the cube okay to find out the correct origins positions such that the vector lies within a single unit cell okay if the position of the origin is not not shifted then the vector uh, will lie will not lie within a single unit cell and it will uh, be like uh, required to have multiple unit cell for the direction to be drawn completely which we don't want so uh, to draw the direction within a single unit cell you have to shift the origin when the indices are negative Prop uh, so uh, the shifting should be done properly now uh, just keep that in mind that we used to take this as x direction this as y direction and this as z direction okay so that um, the shifting could be done properly and that should be in your mind you don't need to uh, like draw it okay so uh, you can see here that the x index is negative okay if the x in index is negative then from all positive origin let me call that all positive origin with o okay from all positive origin if the uh, x index is negative then you have to move the origin one unit along the x direction because x index is negative the numerical value doesn't uh, affects the position of origin okay it's negative nature uh, effects only okay if it is minus 2 minus 7 minus 11 uh, in place of this x index then that doesn't affects only its negative nature effects okay if it is negative uh, that only matters and in case of all these negative x index cases you have to move one unit along the x direction uh, the origin will be moved one unit along the x direction so from all positive origin starting from all positive origin you will move the origin to um, one unit along the x direction which used to be this direction okay because we need we used to take this as x direction so you will move the origin um, to the other corner of the unit cell one unit means to the other corner of the unit cell and this is the point that will and that we get and since the other two are positive that is why this is the final origin point that we will be using um, as the ta tail of the direction 
okay this point will be the tail of the direction and this is the origin of the new coordinate system that will use to draw the direction okay this origin will not be taken as reference only this will be taken okay uh, to draw this direction all right i hope that uh, method is clear to you now let me draw the um, coordinate lines and from origin these are the three lines that are connecting the origin okay that is the part of that unit cell so this direction is positive y direction okay let me call as y prime as the origin is o prime so let me call it as y prime and this direction is negative x prime axis okay because it is on the um left side okay and that's the right side will be that will be positive x axis so uh, this is the this one line that is connected to the origin is the positive z axis z prime axis all right so this is the origin this is the coordinate system with these axis lines that will be used uh, to draw the direction all right so now this is the tail of the origin <laughs> sorry this is the tail of the direction uh, of this direction okay and let us find out the head coordinates the head coordinates the method is clear uh, the method is same the head coordinates of the direction 2 bar 1 2 is obtained by dividing the lcm of the same line non zero uh, miller indices with each of the miller indices by uh, with each of the all right so it's uh, minus 2 1 and 2 these are the three indices and let us take the lcm it's 2 from this 1 and 2 okay negative number will not be taken only the numerical value of it will be taken which is 2 okay so the lcm comes out to be 2 we'll divide each of the index with 2 so it's minus 1 here 1 by 2 here and 1 here this is the x uh, let's say call it x prime because our new coordinate system is in primed form that is why that's the x prime uh, coordinate that's y prime coordinate that's z prime coordinate for head okay now let us draw um, let us go to the head point using these coordinates okay first of all we'll move minus one unit along x prime direction so minus one unit means along the negative x prime direction so from origin we'll move to the other corner of the unit cell along the negative x prime direction which is this point okay and after that point uh, you have to um, move half unit along y prime direction so this is the y prime direction and this whole length from this point to the other corner of the unit cell is one and half of it will be like here okay first calibrate where you have to stop uh, because in 3d it becomes difficult and uh, if you calibrate it using these logics then you will get to the right point um, so this whole length from one corner to the other corner along y direction is one and half of it is roughly here okay and from this point onwards you have to move half unit along y direction which means this point all right and from that point onwards you have to move one unit along z prime axis which means from this point to the other corner of the unit cell along the z direction which is vertically upward so let us draw the vertically upward line yeah that's the point okay so this is the final point this is the final head point uh, for the vector for the direction and uh, it has the coordinates minus one one by two and one and this is the head point and this is a tail point okay the new region will be the tail point and we'll connect those two points together to all right so yeah this is the direction this is the direction two bar one two okay uh, i'll repeat it that uh, only the negative nature matters whichever index is negative you have to move the origin um one unit along that um, axis direction okay the numerical value doesn't matter only the negative nature matters so yeah so this one direction is done now we'll draw the other direction in which the y index is negative 
and then we'll draw when the z index is negative and we'll uh, draw the other case when the two of in the indices are negative and after that at the end we'll see the method to draw when uh, draw the direction when all of the indices are negative okay so make sure you watch all of these examples so that your mind is very clear to how to draw the direction uh, so the other example is 3 1 bar 3 here the y index is negative all right so first of all um, we'll draw the cube okay the pretty little cube here we go this is a cube and this is the all positive origin okay uh, specify the all positive origin so that uh, your mind is clear uh, from where to start uh, shifting the origin so yeah this is all positive origin since y index is negative what we have to do is to move the origin one unit along the y direction okay the negative value uh, the negative nature matters not the value uh, i mean that if it, it it would have been this or this or this the position of origin would have been same we have to shift the origin one unit along that y direction regardless of the numerical value okay it's negative nature matters only so in all the cases you have to move the origin one unit okay in all the cases doesn't matter what the value is only the negative nature matters so yeah uh, from origin uh, i'm repeating it again and again because sometimes some students jumps into a certain part of the video and they skip that important guideline so that is why i'm mentioning it with every example i'm solving um, from origin this was the y direction okay this used to be the y direction so from that all positive origin will move that origin along y direction one unit which means to the other corner of the unit cell along the y direction which is this point so this is uh, the final origin because none of the other index is negative so this is the final origin point okay so let me call it as o prime okay and these are the three lines connected with the origin okay let us uh, denote them that which one is which one axis so this is the x prime axis okay positive x prime axis this is negative y prime axis and this is the positive z prime axis okay only that axis becomes negative which whose corresponding miller index is negative only y axis is negative here because the y index was negative and in order to draw the direction the single winner uh, <laughs> in a single unit cell we have to do that so the tail will be at this origin okay the new origin and the head coordinates needs to be determined from the given miller indices and we'll draw the uh, head we'll find out the head coordinates and will that will direct us to the head point and we'll join the head with the tail point with a straight vector and that we will get the direction so head coordinates of the direction is obtained of the direction direction uh, mention the miller indices of the direction is obtained by dividing the same line that was written for the other cases and the lcm of non-zero indices with the with each of the indices okay so uh, these are the three index indices these are the three indices and we'll take the lcm of three one and three only positive uh, numerical value is taken the negative value the negative uh, part is not taken okay it's three one and three these bars are used to separate the three values okay it's no negative type of thing we never divide a negative value with the miller indices so it's okay so three is the lcm and we'll divide the three uh, with each of the index and it's one minus one by three and one all right and these are the head coordinates this is the x prime coordinate of head this is y prime coordinate and this is the z prime coordinate now uh, let us draw the head point and it's first of all one unit along x prime direction so from origin the new region will move one unit along x prime direction which means to the other corner of the unit cell along the x direction x prime direction so from this point to here okay this is the one unit along the x direction now from that point onwards we have to move minus one by three units along the y prime direction now one by three means three equal parts 
ओके एंड दिस इज़ द वाई नेगेटिव वाई प्राइम डायरेक्शन एंड दिस होल लेंथ इज़ वन फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू द अदर पॉइंट आर टू द अदर कॉर्नर ऑफ द यूनिट सेल एंड लेट अस डिवाइड इट इनटू थ्री इक्वल पार्ट्स व्हिच बिकम्स रफली हियर लाइक दैट ओके फर्स्ट कैलिब्रेट वेयर यू हैव टू स्टॉप ओके सो दिस इज वन बाय थर्ड पार्ट दिस इज टू बाय थर्ड पार्ट एंड दिस इज थ्री बाय थ्री पार्ट विच इज वन ओके सो दिस इज वन बाय थ्री पार्ट yeah roughly so from this point onward one unit along x direction we have to move minus 1 by 3 unit along y direction which is this point okay negative okay yeah so this is uh, the point now from that point onwards we have to move one unit along z direction which means from this point vertically upward to the other corner of the unit cell which is like this point okay so this is the final point this is the head point and we have to join the tail point at a new region to the head point that we found here and connecting these uh, these two points by a straight line will give us the direction and yeah draw it with a ruler so that the straight line is properly straight <laughs> not like me so yeah 3 1 bar 3 All right. Now let us draw uh, the other case when we have the z index negative, and it's a case with a one zero two bar. All right. Now first of all, we'll draw the cube. The method is very sim simple, and practice it again and again. You will learn it. it's that much easy follow the instruction uh, instructions properly and you will get that direction okay so yeah this is the all positive origin since the z index is negative what you have to do is to move the origin one unit along the z direction which which is this vertically upward so one unit along z direction means to the other corner of the unit cell along z direction which is this point so this is the final origin because none of the other other index is negative so this is the final origin o prime which will be taken as the tail of the direction of this direction okay and uh, regardless of the numerical value if it would have been 7 bar or 6 bar in place of the z index then the position of the new region would have been this okay same in all of the cases in all of the numerical uh, values uh the position of the new region is always shifted one unit regardless of the uh, numerical value okay its negative polarity only matters that determines us in which direction you have to move one unit along um, okay so yeah this is the new region this line connecting with the origin point uh, is the x prime positive x prime direction okay and this vertically downward is negative z prime axis and this is the positive y prime axis this is the tail of our vector okay of our direction and the head coordinates will be obtained from this miller indices and head coordinates the same line as i wrote earlier of the direction 102 bar is obtained by dividing uh uh each of the index by the lcm of non zero miller indices okay so the indices are 1 0 2 -2 -2 2 let us take the lcm of 2 okay numerical value is taken only the negative value the negative uh, thing is not taken in lcm process so 2 and 1 are the two numbers here and we'll divide the 2 with each of the index only positive values can be divided negative values cannot not be divided to the miller indices so this is 1 by 2 here this is 0 and this is minus 1 here okay this are these are the head coordinates this is x prime coordinate y prime coordinate and z prime coordinate of head of the direction 1 0 2 bar okay so let us draw this direction and for that purpose we'll move 1 by 2 unit along x prime direction so from all uh, from the new region okay Uh, this is the x direction and from this point to the other point of the inner cell it means one length okay and the half of it will be somewhere like there okay calibrate it first and then uh, you will know where to stop okay so it will you it will help you to find out the correct head point and from new region we will have to move half unit along x direction positive x direction which is this point after that 
you have to move zero units along y by prime direction which means no motion is required after that you have to move minus one unit along z prime direction so minus one unit means minus z along the minus z prime axis you have to move one unit uh, which means to the other corner of the unit cell uh, bottom draw a line parallel to the z axis which is this line okay this is parallel to this line draw a straight line from this point here to the other corner of the unit cell which is this point so this is a final head point and uh, this is a tail point and this is a head point join the two points together to get the final vector okay so this is the direction 1 0 2 bar all right so yeah this one is done too now we'll see the case when two of the indices are negative and the case is um, one bar one one bar here is the next problem uh, here is the next case and uh, we have the x index and z index negative so we'll see how we'll find out the origins position and the method is similar we'll continue moving one unit step by step uh, one by one so this is the all positive origin all right we can see here that the x index is negative so what we have to do is to move that all uh, origin from all positive point um, along the x direction by one unit so one unit along the x direction which means this point okay so uh, one unit along the x direction this point now this point is not the final origin because the z index is also negative so what we have to do is from this point onwards we have to shift the origin further on um, one unit along the z direction so from this point further on one unit along z direction which means one unit along the z direction so this is the final point o prime for origin okay so whichever index is negative you have to shift the origin step by step um, along that axis direction by one unit regardless of the numerical value if it if it would have been two bar here one and two bar here then the position of the origin would have been the same uh, the value the numerical value doesn't matter the nature of um, uh, the polarity of the index matters okay uh, so yeah this is the final origin point and this is the negative x prime direction the line joining the o and the other line that joins the O prime is this line, which is the positive Y direction, Y prime direction, positive, uh, and axis, sorry, right, axis. And this one is the negative Z prime axis. All right, and this point, this new origin, O prime, is the tail for the direction, one bar, one, one bar. Okay, now we need to find out the head coordinates, and the head coordinates, of the direction is obtained by dividing the LCM of the non zero indices by each of the index in that specific case we can see here that all of the indices are 1 1 and 1 the LCM will come out to be 1 and dividing by 1 doesn't brings any difference okay so these are the head coordinates final and this is x prime coordinate for the head this is y prime coordinate and this is the z prime coordinate okay so here minus one unit motion so that means we have to move one unit along the negative x prime direction so from or uh, from the origin from new origin minus one unit okay so which means to the other corner of the unit cell along the negative x direction which means from this point to here that was the negative x prime direction so one unit along the negative direction this is the point now from this point onwards what we have to uh, do is to move one unit along the y direction y prime direction so from this point onwards we'll move one unit along the y direction which is this direction so to the other corner of the units along y, along y direction which is this point now uh, we have to move minus one along the z direction which means one unit motion along the negative z direction so from this point onwards one unit which means to the other corner of the unit cell along the z direction which is this yeah this is the final point uh, this is the head point and the new region is the tail point and we'll join the two points together by a straight line to get the direction 
yeah that's the direction one bar one one bar so the next uh one the second last one is three one bar two bar okay here two of the index uh, two of the indices are negative which is y index and the z index and uh, first of all we draw the cube So this is the all positive origin, okay? And we can see here, this is the x direction, this is the y direction, and this is the z direction. Since the y index and the z index, both of them are negative, um, so we have to shift the origin. And from all positive origin, we have to move the one, one unit, we have to move one unit along the y direction. Uh, so this is the y direction. And from this point, one unit along the y direction to the other corner of the unit cell, it means. So here, like there okay and this is not our final origin because the z index is also negative so we have to move again one unit along the z direction so from that point along z direction along the positive z direction so this is the final point and this is our final origin o prime okay so whichever index is negative you have to move step by step the origin um starting from the all positive origin you have to shift the origin step by step and uh, you'll get the final point for origin by following um, the rule of moving origin one unit along the direction which is uh, which has the negative middle index okay so this new point of origin o prime is the tail for the direction three one bar two bar okay tail point and we need to find out the head point of the direction so for the head point of the direction um, head coordinates oh first we have to uh, calibrate the axis okay so this is the origin point o prime and these are the three lines connecting uh, connected to the origin okay which is the part of a single this single unit cell so this direction is positive x direction okay and this direction is negative y direction since its index was negative 2 and this direction is negative z direction since its index was negative 2 Okay, after doing that, we'll find out the head coordinates uh, are obtained by dividing the LCM of non-zero Miller indices by each of the index. Okay, so we have the indices 3, minus 1 and minus 2. Okay, we'll take the LCM and only the numerical value will be taken the negative thing will not be the part of the LCM process so it's three bar it's bar it's no negative sign okay one this bar is just to separate the three values from each other so this is three ones are three and two ones are two okay so it's three into one into two which is six so we'll divide the six by each of the value and we got one by two here minus 1 by 6 here and minus 1 by 3 here okay this is the x prime coordinate for the head point y prime coordinate and this is the z prime coordinate okay <clears throat> now from origin from new origin first we have to move half unit along the positive x direction so this is the all uh, this is the new region and half unit along the x direction this from this point to the other corner of the unit cell along x direction is 1 okay this whole length is 1 half of it is somewhere like there okay so from origin half unit which means this point okay we have reached this point now from this point onwards what we have to do is to move minus 1 by 6 unit and uh, 1 by 6 unit along the y direction which means moving 1 by 6 unit along the negative y direction so this is the y direction and let us draw a straight dotted line here to the other corner of the unit cell okay this whole length from one corner to the other corner of the unit cell is one okay we have to divide it into six equal parts and each part would be one by six okay so the calibration needs to be done and this means one by two this means one by three one two three four five 
six. So roughly, it's not exactly, but roughly this point is the minus one by six point. Okay, so from this point, half unit along positive x direction will move minus one by six unit along the y direction, which is this point. Okay, now from this point onwards, what we have to do is to move minus one by three unit along z direction, which means one by three unit along the z direction. So from this point downward, we'll draw a straight line to the other corner of the unit cell, which is this point. Okay, this whole length is one. We have to divide this length into three equal parts and each will be one by three. So it's that roughly and this point is minus one by three. So from this point downward here, this is the final point. Okay, this point is not uh, a part of this line. Okay, this straight line on the front wall or front plane. This is uh, somewhere inside the uh, unit cell. Okay. So this is the final point that we got for the head point of the direction and what we have to do is to connect this tail point with that head point and in that way we'll get the direction. This direction is 3, 1 bar, 2 bar. Alright, now lastly we'll draw the direction with all of the mirror indices negative. Okay, so this is the last example and I hope the method is clear to you all and I usually make videos on request and whichever language you prefer if it is Urdu, Hindi or English you can uh, mention it in the comments and if you are interested in some specific video that I have made in Urdu or Hindi then you can request me also to upload that in English I will definitely do that I usually I mostly do that uh, for all of the students so this is not my first time and I would love to do that for you all okay so this is the last example with three bar one bar and three bar so first of all we'll draw the cube okay and this point is the all positive origin so this is the all positive all positive origin since the x index is negative y index is negative and z index is also negative so shifting will be done three times okay we'll have to do the shifting three times and from this point we'll have to move one unit along the x direction because x index is negative so from this all positive origin we'll move one unit along x direction which is this direction to the other corner of the unit cell which means one unit okay corresponding so this is um the point now uh this is not our final region because the y index is negative to so we have to move one unit from this point onwards along the y direction so here it is and this is not our final origin too because the z index is negative too. So we have to move from this point onwards uh, one unit along the z direction because the z index is negative too. And again I will mention that the negative value doesn't matter. The polarity uh, matters only. The numerical value doesn't matter. If it is 2 bar, 1 bar, 3 bar, 2 bar, 1 bar, 1 bar. The position of the origin in all of these cases will be same that will be this point okay the numerical value doesn't matter its polarity matters so if it is all negative then this is the origin okay let's call it as o prime and let me uh, designate all of the uh, axis lines so these are the three lines joining uh, connecting to the o point okay these are the three lines that are connected to this origin so this line is negative y direction y prime direction negative y prime axis negative z prime axis this is negative x prime axis and this is the tail point of our vector of our direction so uh, to find out the head coordinates we uh, will divide the lcm of the indices non-zero indices the same thing that i wrote earlier okay you have to write it again by each of the index with each of the index okay so we have indices minus 3 minus 1 and minus 3 we'll take the lcm which is 3 1 3 the lcm come out to be 3 and we'll divide it with 3 okay all of the indices by 3 and it's minus 1 minus 1 by 3 and minus 1 uh, as the head coordinates this is x prime coordinate y prime coordinate and this is a z prime coordinate so from our new region we have to move minus one unit 
along the x prime direction so this is the origin o prime and we have to move minus one unit so along the neg x direction which means to move one unit along the negative x direction so from this point to the other corner of the unit cell along the x direction which is this negative x direction so this is the point um, we have moved minus one unit along the x prime direction and from this point onwards we have to move minus one by three units along the negative y direction which is this direction so uh, this whole length to the other corner of the unit cell along the y direction this whole length is one and since we have to move one by three units so it means we have to divide this whole length into three equal parts to get okay so this is minus one by three part this is one by three this is two by three this is three by three which means one okay so from this point onwards we'll move minus one by three unit along the y direction which is this point and after that we'll move one, minus one unit along the z prime direction which means from this point onwards we'll move one unit means to the other corner of the unit cell along the negative z direction which is draw a straight line and here okay this is the final point and this is the final head point and this is the tail point and this is the head point we will join the two together by a straight line vector and this is the final direction 3 bar 1 bar and 3 bar okay so yeah it's done and i hope the method is clear to you all first of all you will uh, you will draw the cube then you will uh, find out the uh, appropriate origin this appropriate origin will be selected on the basis of the polarity of the indices and after selecting the origin that origin point will be the tail point for the direction and the head coordinates of the direction will be obtained from the given Miller indices and for this you have to draw uh, you have to divide each of the index by the LCM of the uh, non-zero indices and uh, then uh, with reference to the new origin you will draw the you will get the head point and after getting the head point you will join the tail point with the head point uh, to get the direction and that tail point will be at new origin okay the new region will be taken as referenced of getting all the point for the directions okay the new the the previous the old origin will not be considered as reference anymore so yeah that's the method so like share and subscribe uh, i hope you will share with your fellows and other people who may take benefit of that channel uh, because I have uploaded much of the content and uh, it has the potential to help you all. So stay tuned. Goodbye.